What are we doing today? Um, today's session is to explain, discuss, debate, and possibly amend the 49 articles set forth in the warrant, with the exception of those warrant articles whose wording is prescribed by law, those planning board and zoning board um, zoning articles. Not necessary to devote any of these articles onto the ballot. All 49 will appear. Our work today is to determine the wording of those articles, to determine how those articles will appear, and final action will come on March 11th, and we'll be voting in the dining hall here at Winniconnet between the hours of 7 a.m. and 8 p.m. Our ability to amend is limited. We can't eliminate a warrant article. We can't introduce a new purpose, a purpose that hadn't been warned, a purpose that wasn't already in the warrant. Uh, the purpose of a, appropriation can't be changed, but we can change the dollar amounts. And no warrant article shall be eliminated, shall be amended to eliminate the subject matter. Today's rules, I have, to, I have to read a few rules. We'll proceed one article at a time. I will read the article after the article has been moved and seconded for discussion. I will recognize the proponent of the article first and then open the article for discussion. I'll recognize a new speaker on an article before returning to someone who has already spoken, with the exception that the proponent of the article will be permitted to answer questions or offer further details regarding the purpose of the article in response to a question or opinion. All questions should be directed to the moderator. If you wish to speak, please wait to be recognized by the moderator. Speak into the microphones, and uh, this is to ensure that your remarks will be carried over channel 22. And please begin your remarks by stating your name and address. We will deal with only one amendment at a time. The amendments must be in writing, and we have uh, pen and paper down um, here by the podium for that purpose. Uh, it has to be, any amendment has to be moved and seconded, and I need to have the amendment so that I can give it to the uh, town clerk and the uh, administrative assistant so we can get it up on the uh, screen. Please focus on the content of the amendment or the article and refrain from personal comments. I will revoke the recognition of any speaker who speaks or acts in an abusive or disruptive manner, and I'll also revoke recognition of any speaker who refuses to keep his or her comments relevant to the article or is needlessly repetitive. We have quite a few more articles this year than we did last year. We have 48 uh, in addition to the elected officials. If you do the math, if we spend 10 minutes on each article, that's 480 minutes. You divide that by 60, that's eight hours. So right out of the gate, if we spend just 10 minutes per article, we are, with a lunch break, probably here till 5.30. As I've said before, I don't think we do our best work after 5 o'clock in the evening. Things tend to get a little muddled. So I would ask, when you come up to speak, if you can limit your comments to one, two, three minutes, at max, and that way everybody will have an opportunity to speak and we'll get through um, all the business of the day. Non-residents will be allowed to speak on the affirmative vote of the meeting. If an issue arises during the meeting that is not covered by these rules, I intend to be guided by fairness and majority rule uh, with due consideration for the minority's right to be heard. This is your meeting, and as a result, the determinations of the moderator may be overruled. Voting will be conducted um, principally by uh, hand vote using a card. So you need to have, if you want to participate in the voting, one of the uh, red or pink voting cards. You should have checked in and received a card. I'll be asking you to show those when a vote is called. Five voters may request uh, in writing prior to a vote that the vote be taken by secret written ballot. After the vote has been declared, but before any other business has begun, any non-ballot vote may be questioned by seven voters, and the vote shall be retaken by secret yes-no ballot. Reconsideration of votes previously taken may be restricted at any time during the meeting by an affirmative vote of the meeting. I'd ask that you turn off any cell phones while the meeting's in session. And uh, per the state fire code, please note the location of the exits, and if the fire alarm activates, please leave the building by the nearest exit and uh, anyone that uh, help anyone that needs it and assemble in front of the SAU 21 building. At this time, I'll entertain a motion to allow non-resident staff of the town of Hampton to speak during the meeting to answer questions and to provide information regarding any warrant article, specifically the following individuals who are not residents of the town of Hampton. Uh, town Manager Fred Welch, Town Attorneys Mark Gerald, Wanda Robertson, 
the building inspector, Cameron Schultz, the finance director, Mike Schwotzer, recreation and parks director, Diana Martin, assessor, Ed Tinker, planner, Jamie Steffen, administrative assistant, Christina Osman, public works director, Keith Noyes, and the Lane Library director, Amanda Cooper. Do I have a motion? Moved by Ms. Woolsey, seconded by Mr. Pluff. All in favor of allowing those non-resident staff to speak during the meeting. Down cards. Any opposed? Those folks will get to uh, speak and assist us um, as we go through the warrant.